Now let's come to the introduction of definite integrals. Before we come to the in introduction of definite integrals and the difference between integration and definite integration, let's come with the basic introduction of calculus. Now we know that calculus is generally originated because of two major issues, geometrical issues, as originated because of two geometrical issues. So basically the integrals or the differentiation or integration has originated from two major complex issues which the mathematicians were striving to resolve. One was finding the equation of tangent of a curve, that is if I have the curve finding the equation of tangent for the curve and the other is finding the area between the curves. So this is how the calculus has originated where the curve is given by y equals f of x and here they are given by y equals f of x. And B. So differentiation helps in finding the equation of tangent because the slope of the tangent is assumed as f dash x. This is how differentiation helps in finding the equation of tangent and hence the mathematicians could resolve finding the equation of tangent easily finding the derivative of the function f of x and hence differentiation has its significance in finding the equation of tangent to any curve y equals f of x. Similarly, the next geometrical concept which was unresolved by the mathematicians was finding the area of the curves. If I find, if I have the curves like perfect curves like triangle or a rectangle or any other normal curve, we, we can easily find area of triangle or area of rectangle or area of parallelogram etc. But what if the curve is irregularly shaped? How do I find area of this curve? How do I find area of this curve is the biggest question when we challenge in the field of mathematics. Finding the area of this irregular shape is not possible through any standard formula, but we use integration to solve these kind of problems where we find areas of irregular shapes. And let's see how definite integration has originated from this unresolved issue of finding the areas under the curves or areas of irregular shapes, etc. Definite integrals connected with geometry. Now, as we have seen in the introduction of definite integrals, that calculus has two unresolved issues, one being finding equation of tangent line and the next being finding the area under the curve. So let's connect with the curve. X axis, Y axis, origin. Now I have two lines x equals a and x equals b which are parallel to y axis and I want to find the area under the curve which is this. How do I find area under the curve which is irregularly shaped? This can be done using integration and this kind of integration is called definite integration. The area under this curve is found using as given by this shade of region is given by integral now, because this area is bounded between x equal to a and x equal to b, we always say that 
these two are the boundaries where this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundaries. So this is bounded between x equal to a and x equal to b. So we have integral x equals a to b of f of x dx. So area under the curve is given by this and which is called definite integral. because this integration gives a definite value. Therefore, definite integral does not have constant of integration c because it is definite with, without any unknown constant c. This is how the definite integral is originated from finding the area under the curve. So definite integral is integral a to b f of x dx where a is called lower limit and b is called upper limit. Now let's see the notation for definite integral which is denoted by integral a to b f of x dx is and formula which is given by f of minus f of a that is by substituting x equal to a in the integral first and this is how we obtain the formula here a is called lower limit and b is called upper limit and fx is integration of f of x over dx is how we understand each of them. So definite integral of a to b f of x dx is f of b minus f of a which is definite because it doesn't have an integration constant. So it's very important to note that definite integral does not have C, the constant of integration, and hence is definite is how we understand the definite integral as compared with integral integral has integration constant definite integral does not have integration constant